Stones Road now has 13 permanent Miracle Balms within the collection. If you don't know what Miracle Balm is, it just offers a sheer tint to the skin. It's a beautiful skin enhancer. They can be used as sheer bronzers, sheer blushes, all over tents. You could use it to tame flyaways. You can use them on your cuticles. Kind of like Wonder Balms. They serve many purposes. I have all the shades with me today, so we're gonna dive in and go through each shade and their purpose. We'll go through them lightest to deepest. It's also really important to break the seal that way you can release the pigment this is what the miracle balm looks like before you break the seal you may see a few little spots or dots just on the surface here that's completely normal sometimes during the filling process as the product cools pigment can come to the surface or a shimmer can come to the surface which creates this finish it's still completely safe to use you can use a spatula to break the seal you could use your finger to break the seal as you can see, the seal's now broken. This side, the seal isn't broken, so if I was to rub around, you wouldn't see any pigment on the finger, just a very sheer amount. You break the seal, that allows for that pigment to come out, and now you can see all of that pigment here. Let's get started. First, we have Au Naturel. This does not have any tint to it. A lot of people love to use this as a primer before their foundation. You could use it as a brow gel. You could use it as a dewy highlight. You can see the luminosity on my hand. You could use it on no makeup days, on your cuticles, to tame flyaways. This is kind of like your everything balm. Moving on to the highlights, there's happy hour, magic hour, and golden hour. This is happy hour. All of the hour shades have high shimmer content in them, so they're beautiful as highlights. You can use them on the high points of the face, on the bridge of the nose, on the lips. This isn't really something you'd want to put all over your face. Here's what happy hour looks like. It's a beautiful pearly pink highlight shade. Now we have Magic Hour. This has a sheer bronze base with silvery bronze shimmer to it. This looks really beautiful on all different skin tones. Here it is in normal lighting. Here it is in the sun. You can kind of see going back and forth between. This is Golden Hour. It offers a beautiful golden shimmer to the skin. Magic Hour is a little more neutral. Golden Hour is a bit more warm. This is Golden Hour in natural light. There's Golden Hour in the sunlight. I'll put Magic Hour and Golden Hour next to each other just so you can compare them. Golden Hour is on top and then Magic Hour is below here. They are very similar shades. Those were the three highlight shades. Now we're moving on to the blush shades. I have this limited edition palette. They're not making these anymore. Tawny can also act as a blush. Blushed has a bit more pigment to it. Blushed offers a beautiful cool pink tone to the skin. Here's Flushed. Pinch Cheeks is one of the newer shades this year. I'd say Pinch Cheek falls between Blushed and Dusty Rose. Pinch Cheeks and Flushed side by side. Again, these still offer a sheer blush, so they're not going to be super pigmented. You could pair it with a blush, or you could use it on its own as a sheer blush. Miami Beach offers a warm golden coral shade. There's also very minimal shimmer to this, so it doesn't look like shimmer on your skin. Miami Beach, Pinch Cheeks, and then Flushed. Here's what it's looking like in regular lighting. Now we're moving on to the funnest category, which are the all over tents. What Jones Road means by all over tent is still using the majority on your cheeks and then whatever's left over, use it on your forehead, your nose and your chin. So this is your most adaptable, sheerest, the ones that can work as a sheer bronzer, a sheer blush, an all over tent. They serve many purposes. Again, I'll be showing you these from lightest to darkest. This is Dusty Rose. This is one of the original four. It's a bestseller. This shade offers a cool mauve tone to the skin. Here's Dusty Rose in the sunlight. If you have a sallow complexion, Dusty Rose can kind of help with cutting that sallowness and will help brighten the skin. This is Pinky Bronze, which has quickly become a really popular shade. Lots of people love Pinky Bronze. I'd say it leans more bronze than pinky. This is a beautiful sheer bronzing option for those with fair skin that don't want to look muddy. Here's Dusty Rose and Pinky Bronze next to each other. Here's what they look like in the sun. I might just put a little bit of Pinky Bronze on my skin right now. Moving on to Tawny, this is one of Bobbi's favorite shades. It has a really beautiful red tint to it. Here's Tawny. I love Tawny in the wintertime. I think it's a beautiful autumnal shade. 
This is bronze, one of my most loved miracle balms. Bronze can help cut redness on the skin. It doesn't cover any redness. It just helps with distracting from the redness because there's a little bit of yellow in this so it can help negate that redness on the skin. I love to use this before I put on my foundation just to give it a little sheer tint before I move on to foundation. Here's bronze. I feel like bronze and tawny have a similar depth to them. Sunkissed is also one of my favorite shades. I completely ran out of it, so this is round two for me. Sunkissed and tawny have similarities, but this one is more brown. Tawny is more red. This also has a bit more depth to it. Here's a side by side. This is tawny. This is sunkissed. These shades look really pigmented in the container, but they sheer out beautifully. Here's sunkissed in the lineup. Last but not least, this is Coco Bronze. This is a beautiful, cool brown, plummy shade. Here you can see the difference between Coco Bronze and Sunkissed. They have similar depth of color. Coco Bronze is the deepest within the collection. Here's Coco Bronze and Sunkissed swatched next to each other. I know these tents look really rich and pigmented, but all you need to do is just keep blending it and it will sheer out to the skin. So you can see just how easy it is to blend out and work with. These deeper shades can still work for people with fairer skin. Miracle Balm is not offering coverage, it's just giving the skin a sheer tint. I'll briefly go over the limited edition Miracle Balms, which are platinum pink, pink champagne, disco, and chic. So all four of those shades are limited edition shades that have been and are current limited edition that you can only find within kits. Disco was a beautiful highlight shade. It was a cooler version of Magic Hour and Golden Hour, so it was more of a cool toned highlight. Platinum Pink had an all natural base, but then it had silver sparkle to it. And then the other shade that complements that is Pink Champagne, which is all natural with gold shimmer flex to it. I have Pink Champagne with me. Here's Pink Champagne. You can see that gold shimmer to it. Here's all natural, and then here's Pink Champagne. So you can see that side by side. This definitely has that golden shimmer and this doesn't have anything at all. Chic is a really unique one. This one, to me, looks like a rosy brown, but Jones Road says that this is a cool mauve tone. On me, it looks a little bit more warm though. I would categorize this in the blush category. I put on a little bit of this earlier today. This definitely has more pigment than some of the other Miracle Balms. A lot of the Miracle Balms are considered low shimmer, which means there is a little bit of shimmer to it, but once it's on your skin, it completely disappears and looks very natural and very much like your skin. So don't be afraid when you see shimmer in any of the Miracle Balms. If you're trying to avoid shimmer in general, then I recommend avoiding the hour shades, which again are happy hour, golden hour, and magic hour. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.